how do you template and untemplate objects? So let's say I go to create polygon cube. So the template I could use, let's say, as a reference. So let's say I, was, I had a model. Uh, let's say move that up here. And I'll just move some vertices. Let's say you're just trying to use something as a reference. And you're trying to replicate that. So let's say I had this model as my reference. I'll put on the wireframe here. And I'll create, let's say, another cube. And I want to like model it that's similar to this. So what you could do is select the object, go into display, go to object display and say template. So now with template, I could see the object, but it's kind of grayed out in the wireframe, but I can't select it. So now I can take my other object and I could try to like move it and then try to match if I go into vertex mode by right clicking and then choosing vertex. I could take these points and try to, let's say, visually match it because I'm using this as like a reference. So that's one way and this is just you know a contrived example and then i can right click and choose object mode so that's one way you could use a template but how do you turn off the template i can't select it one way is with the outliner so if you don't have the outliner visible you could usually see the outliner if you go to window outliner and then it will, should show up or it might pop up you'll just be able to select it and in the outliner you can select the object and when it's selected you could go to display object display untemplate and you can select that but there's another way as well so if i let's say hide that the outliner if i select this go to display object display let's say template now you there's a way to select templated objects in here instead of using select by objects over here you can say select by hierarchy and combinations a lot of people don't know about this thing if you select that instead of uh, selecting select um, by default like select by hierarchy root you could choose select template and then in the viewport you'll be able to select that go to display object display and then temp well not template in this case uh, display object display go to untemplate and then you could go back i could put this back to its original mode and put this back to object mode and select everything another way you could template objects if you select them with well, probably the common way what people use are layers so you could create a layer a brand new layer or if you can select this button which will create a layer and put the object that's selected in the layer already so i could create that layer i could double click on it and then rename it let's say my template press save and then there's an icon over here if you click on t on the icon here, you'll see a t and it will template objects so this is a common way a lot of people use and you can click on it it'll be reference reference it's similar to template except you can't select it but it stays shaded and if you click on it again you're in regular mode i could delete right click and delete and say delete layer to go back and one other thing just to mention template if you select the object and you go into the attribute by clicking here when you go into object display you'll see template here when you click on it that templates it so basically if I put on the outliner, select that, select the object again and turn that off. Basically, when you select this object, if you notice here, when you go to display, object display, template, there are two different things at the moment. Because uh, right now I was uh, templating the shape, but if I go, this, that's the shape node. If I go into display shapes, you'll see that this is the shape that was templated. If I go to the the transform itself and uh, you'll also see you have template here in the transform so when you are actually toggling on display object display template and untemplate notice over here if you do untemplate it actually changes it on the the transform level not the shape level so why is that important is because if you create let's say this if i take this and i'm in the mouse button drag and put it under here so now this is p cube one is the parent of p q two and i move it around you see that it will follow the way maya works if i take the root of a hierarchy and go to display and let's say object display template everything under the hierarchy will be templated because 
everything under the transform will be templated. However, if I go to display, object display untemplate, you'll see that go away. If I select this and I'll go in the attribute editor, right under it is the shape of it. That's the transform. The shape, the mesh is, you can see that here as well, display shapes. It's in the underworld. If you select the shape, because this cube is still apparent, if I select the shape of it and then choose template on the attribute of the shape, because of the shape and not the transform, all the children do not get template as well. So that could be important if you have a whole hierarchy and you just want to template one part of it. You might want to do it on the shape level. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.